All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. A, a weekly general tarot reading May 11th to May 17th, um, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below uh, is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And without further ado, let's move to the reading straight away. So the first card which we do have for the topic of your week is going to be the King of Pentacles. Moving next is going to be the Four of Pentacles, which represents the uh, energies feeding and supporting the topic itself. Uh, afterwards is going to be the challenge that you will have to overcome. That is to be the Six of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the, and the blessings of the Queen of Wands. Oh my all right so um then it is the impression that is very important one the impression that you're gonna leave into the people around um that will be the page of swords and the last one that we do have it is the guidance the tarot is offering we do have the page of wands right so um here we do have an expectation that you have to cover Okay, or rather like a uh, someone significant is expecting from you to do something. Okay, and they will expect you expect from you to do something or if I may say it that way, your end of the deal throughout that particular week. So what we do have here is uh, these two, the energies and the topic. So the energies points that that week, those energies will help you to, to ensure a pretty well-established and secured future for yourself in terms of career and in terms of relationship. They will help you to do so, but are you going to do it? Well, that depends entirely on you. So how that uh, help manifests? Well, it comes through that person, which is King of Pentacles. So these people, so those energies will bring that people into your life or will make that people that person to step out and what that person uh stands for it's a, a very self-absorbed in, individual if you will i mean they're very proud with how far they went into their lives uh but they don't brag about it uh, they don't care about the opinion of of those around them they don't care about what uh how can i say it you know um whom is to be their friend or not what they do care is what kind of a uh, potential they can have with a specific individuals that they can invest in and so that person will want to invest in you but only if you fulfill certain expectations and certain criteria as well that could be a business investment okay that could be for example your boss wants to invest in you by offering you a promotion because that is a form of investment as well it could be a person who wants to invest in emotionally in you and uh, the uh, the versatility of that investment is um, is beyond count now uh, king of pentacles you gotta know that these people they seem they are generous and very very generous i mean if you are devoted to them they are going to bring the world down into your knees but they they are not charitable what i mean is that their generosity is not charity they expect in return and they expect the same devotion as theirs in return and you gotta and, and here you because we do have all these cards after that you do have to prove your devotion to them and you gotta do it yourself and that is exactly what we do have as a, a challenge uh, here for you Pisces of the six of pentacles and the challenge is to be that you have to stand if you will alone and tackle with the ordeal or with the criteria that that king of pentacles has. And now I can imagine the comments, well, I don't care what anybody wants from me, you know, and those kind of stuff. And that's perfectly fine, all right? I, I mean, you are completely free to choose not to oblige. I'm here saying that if you do oblige, that can pretty much ensure your future. It could secure your future, all right? But if 
your pride is bigger than that, then by all means, you know, just completely ignore that um, opportunity or that, that that's not even an opportunity, it's a gift. Ignore that gift and have your week totally normal. It's as simple as that. But with the Six of Pentacles, um, aside from uh, that you have to face the ordeal alone or the... Uh, the test because it's going to be like a test do you worth their time do you worth their money do you worth their emotional investment as simultaneously is going to be as well and a test of faith also to uh to your personal awareness to believe that that is actually a um a natural flow of your current that this such type of individual you need as a business partner, such type of individual you need as a uh, relationship partner also, and so on and so forth. And if it's not going to be this one, you ain't going to find a better type of archetype. And I mean archetype, not person, but an archetype. Someone who is ready to bring the world down into your knees if you are ready to do the same thing, uh, the same thing for them. Now, the question really is how, right? I mean, how you can do it? Well, that is the gift that you are to be blessed with throughout the week. And that is going to be the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, it's a, uh, a mutual, I would say, friend. But in our country, we say noner. Okay, I'm going I'm to sneeze, guys. Oh, false alert. So that is a mutual owner who very well knows that King of Pentacles. They know how they operate. That person knows how the King of Pentacles operates. They know what they expect. They know what they need. And pretty much the Queen of Wands, not the Queen of Pentacles, but the Queen of Wands is going to present you with the recipe of success here. Okay, It's going to tell you what you need to do, how you need to do it in order to impress and to prove that person right that you do deserve uh, their investment uh, again either emotional or either a a, a material investment and uh, another thing that the queen of wands is going to do for you is going to emp uh, emphasize on your positive traits in other words is going to boost your um not enthusiasm but your um well, the word just jumped out of my head, guys. Um, I would say, okay, so I will use this one. It will boost your awareness that you do deserve that thing, okay? That you are good enough to have the support of the King, uh, of, the king of Wands. Because as we saw within the Six of uh, Pentacles, you may find it difficult to uh, believe and to understand that that is the natural flow of your current or in other words that you do deserve what is happening to you in a good way that is so uh, from there we go to the next one which represents the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that is the impression of the page of swords and uh, that is the impression of that you are adapting although you may have a little bit of a different understanding and different thoughts from everybody around that doesn't mean that you cannot incorporate or apply those thoughts into the or ongoing ordeal so in other words uh, the people around you, and especially the King of Pentacles, will see that you uh, will have the impression that you can uh, that you can accomplish their expectations, okay, in a different way. In other words, that you are unique, and no one can actually copy catch you. That they cannot find the same person ever again, as you are the same type of a, an individual, the same type of an archetype here, and that actually you are uh, you are the unexpected either help or a partner that they have searched maybe throughout their entire life and they ain't gonna find another one like you you know they can find i don't want to say better or worse i would say someone different that may fulfill their expectations again but it's not going to be but it's not going to fulfill their expectations in the same way that you do and they definitely want your way at that particular stage and uh, we are uh, concluding here the reading with the last card which is the guidance that Tarot is offering 
So that pretty much touches on the challenges with the Six of Pentacles. And uh, one thing was for the current. The other thing is, is that you have to stand uh, and tackle with the ordeal by yourself. Physically, I mean. And the Page of uh, Wands as a guidance tells you a couple of things. First, you got to be open for everything new that comes around to you. And that new thing, it is the King of Pentacles. So you got to be open for this current, which is your natural current that is to occur. And the second thing that the Page of Wands does, it is that the Page of Wands firmly believes in their own personal strengths. And therefore, you got to believe into your own personal strengths. Hence, that you can that you can fulfill the expectations of the King of Pentacles. You can prove that you do deserve their investment, either emotional or either material. And once that happens, once they invest in you, whatever they invest in, career or relationship, that field of your life is pretty much secured for at least the moderate future moving forward. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, uh, for a May 11th to May 17th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. Stay safe now and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.